Hi everyone, it's Anthony here from the Noble Samurai team. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Market Samurai to explore a market and find your main theme keyword for this year's 30 day challenge. Here's a quick overview of the process that we're going to be following. The first step is to choose a market to explore. For example, one of my interests is playing the saxophone, so I might want to explore the saxophone market. The problem with market level keywords is that there's usually a very high level of competition for these keywords. So, rather than trying to compete for these high competition keywords, what we want to do is drill down into a niche within the saxophone market, for example, tenor saxophones. At the niche level, there's slightly lower competition for keywords, however, it's often still very competitive. So what we really want to do is to continue the process of drilling down to find a micro niche, for example, how to play saxophone. At this micro niche level, we find an acceptable competition for keywords, which means we have the greatest opportunity to obtain traffic to our website and ultimately create a profitable business. So our aim in this video is to find a micro niche keyword. And in a previous video, you will have seen that a micro niche keyword has the following characteristics. It has an SEO traffic value of over 80, which means the number one site in Google receives at least 80 visitors a day. It has an SEO competition value of less than 30,000, which means there are less than 30,000 competing websites. And it has a phrase to broad match ratio of at least 15% to ensure that it's the type of term that people are actually searching for in the search engines. Now that you understand the process of drilling down from a market to a niche and from a niche to a micro niche, let's go and have a look at how we do this in the real world using Market Samurai. Okay, I've just started Market Samurai and I want to create a new project. So I'll click over here. Now the market I'm going to explore in this example is the saxophone market. So all I have to do is enter saxophone, hit the return key, and then click create. Now the first thing I want to do is keyword research. So I'll open the keyword research module. The starting point to exploring a market is to generate a list of keywords related to my initial keyword, saxophone. To do this, all I have to do is click the generate keywords button. Market Samurai asks me to enter what's known as a capture to verify that I'm a human and not an automated bot. And then it goes away and brings back a list of keywords that are related to the market I'm exploring. The best way to think of this initial list of words is that it's a collection of potential niches for me to explore. So, at the highest level, the market I'm exploring is the saxophone market. And by generating keywords, I now have a list of potential niches to explore. So now I can scroll down and look for a niche to explore in more detail. At this early stage, you should probably be guided by your interests. So as you look through your list of niches, see if any of them jump out at you. For example, as I look down at my list, tenor saxophone jumps out at me because that's the type of saxophone that I play. So what I'd like to do is examine this niche in more detail. To drill down to the niche level, all I have to do is click on the key symbol next to the keyword I want to investigate. This opens a new tab at the top of Market Samurai with my niche keyword on it. I can now switch tabs and begin to explore the tenor saxophone niche. To begin, I choose the Keyword Research button and once again I go over and click the Generate Keywords button. Market Samurai then brings back a list of keywords related to the tenor saxophone niche. A good way to think of this list of keywords is that this is a list of potential micro niches. Now I'd like to explore these potential micro niches in more detail. So all I have to do is come down to the right hand corner of the screen 
and click the Analyze Keywords button. This now shows me a lot more detailed information about my list of potential micro niches. The next step is to filter my list of potential micro niches to eliminate those that don't have any real traffic going to them. To apply a simple traffic filter, all I have to do is go up to the SEO traffic box, which is over here, and enter a value of 80. Then I just click the Refresh Filters button. As you can see, applying this filter reduces my active keywords from 200 to just 26. It's very important to apply this traffic filter before we go out and obtain competition data. Because if we continually pull down competition data for a large number of keywords, there's a chance that we may be temporarily banned from Google, which of course we want to avoid. So you should always remember to apply a traffic filter before requesting competition data. Now that I have applied my traffic filter, I can get competition data for each of my potential micro niches by clicking the Analyze Keywords button over here. Market Samurai then goes out to the internet and retrieves the competition data that I need. And you'll see now that the SEOC or SEO competition column has now been filled with data. Now that I have my competition data, I can apply a competition filter. I'm going to put in a competition filter by clicking this plus sign here and I'm going to enter a value of 30,000. This tells Market Samurai to only show me those keywords that have less than 30,000 competing pages in Google. I'm also going to add a phrase to broad match filter of 15. This ensures that the terms I'm looking at are the types of keywords that are entered by real people using the search engines. Now you'll notice that this reduces my list of potential micro niches to just seven. For each of these micro niche keywords, the number one ranked site in Google receives at least 80 visitors a day and there are less than 30,000 competing websites. I can now review my list of micro niches and select one to use as the theme keyword for my 30 day challenge website. For example, in reviewing the list I have here, the one that stands out to me as a good possibility for a website theme is how to play saxophone. Once I've chosen my theme keyword, I can again click the key symbol next to the keyword to drill down to the micro niche level. So let's just take a moment to recap what we've done. We started at the market level and explored the saxophone market. We then generated a list of potential niches and selected one to investigate in more detail, which was the tenor saxophone niche. At the niche level, we generated a list of potential micro niches and then filtered this list to find keywords that met the following criteria. They had an SEO traffic figure of greater than 80 visitors per day. They had an SEO competition filter of less than 30,000. And they had a phrase to broad match ratio of at least 15%. We've touched on some difficult concepts today. So don't be too concerned if you haven't been able to follow the details of everything I've said in this video. Once you start using Market Samurai yourself, you'll quickly learn what the various filters and acronyms mean. The main concept to take away from today is the idea of drilling down from a market to a niche and then from a niche to a micro niche in order to find keywords that are both accessible and deliver a useful amount of traffic. In the next video, we'll explore how to use your theme keyword to generate additional category keywords.